Hey Taurus, it's your girl, Fifteen Tarot, and today is your love reading, okay? We're going to pull some cards from the tarot to see what's going on here. Taurus, how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing fine. Um, remember to like the video if the video does resonate with you, Taurus. Alright, by liking the video, I know, you two know that you like this, this resonates. And you two push it to a bigger audience so the video can grow, so the channel can grow, okay? And also, I recognize all your likes and know that this is resonating with you guys and to continue to make videos for you. And I feel like you guys have been doing very well, all right? So thank you so much in advance for all your love and support. I really appreciate it, you guys. And if this video doesn't resonate, you guys, I will have a link down below in the description. It's going to be your playlist with all your videos, okay? So if this doesn't resonate, hopefully one of those videos there resonate for you. All right, so let's get into the reading. Angel, this is going Taurus and their person. Any messages from Taurus and their person, please? What's going on with Taurus and their person? Taurus and their person, please. in their person okay so your main card is this cycle okay that's your first card this is a cycle between you guys that I feel like you gave this person more than one try all right and this person kept coming back into your life like you think it's over you moved on with your life and here comes this person I feel like the cycle have ended at this point, though, because the Wheel of Fortune is in reverse or the cycle is about to end because someone had enough here, all right? Enough of this relationship, all right? It's either you had enough of this relationship or you're deciding for yourself to move on and move forward, okay? Or you're deciding to definitely give this person a second chance, okay? It depends on you and what you want, um, Taurus, okay? So let's keep going here for Taurus, please. Taurus. Oh, my God. Okay. Let's do this. Hmm. All right, Taurus, I see the Empress in reverse. I see the Knight of Cups here, and I see the King of Swords. Hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. So this relationship had no balance. Okay, you're just tired of this person because you wasn't sure where this relationship was going to go, all right? I feel like for some of you, you wanted this relationship to work, but there's no balance, no stability here, okay? You didn't even think that this relationship was very serious, all right? Because this person was just iffy. There wasn't, there wasn't steady for you, okay? And you had enough of this person because if it doesn't make sense to you in the Empress, you are just out the door, okay? I mean, you will put up with it for a while, but after, you know, you see how this person is moving, you're like, no, I deserve more, all right? I feel like you definitely made a choice for yourself, like you were just like moving on for yourself, and this person is just coming back in with this cup, okay? And this is a Knight of Cups, so they want a second chance here, okay? And they're offering this to you. I see this person trying to offer this to you, okay? We have the Queen of Swords in reverse, which tells me that there's communication block like this. And it's funny how it's facing the Queen of Swords here. Like this person wants to come in, but you're either not talking to them or you block them, all right? There's something that needs to be talked about here. This person has a lot of love for you, okay? Don't get it twisted in this Knight of Cup. They want a, a real second chance, okay? I feel like this person is going to apologize and ask for a second chance, all right? If it was the Page of Cups, I, I would definitely think, oh, this person is coming with an apology, you know, but this person is coming in with their heart on their sleeves, okay? <laughs> I feel like, you know, 
for some of you, if you haven't blocked this person, it might just be a while for some of you that you haven't talked to this person, okay? Well, this Queen of Swords here, because it's a definitely a strong communication that this person wants to come in and talk to you about, okay? They want to come in and fix this and sort this out, but they're just blocked doing it or they don't know how to approach you if you're not, if you haven't blocked them, okay? And then we have the Five of Pentacles here, which tells me that, you know, this person did you wrong. For some of you, this person left you for someone else. For some of you, this person used you and you're still going through this. I feel like the reason why you block them, Taurus, is because you're just not over how this person hurt you. All right? You trusted this person. You helped this person financially with these pentacles, okay? And this person betrayed your trust, okay? This person left you in a lot of debt, walked out on you for some of you in the cold, okay? And left you there standing, okay? Make you feel stupid, ashamed, all right? So I feel like this is still going on here with this five of pentacles. Like you're just not sure if you want to give this person a second chance. I feel like this person gave you a lot of anxiety, okay? And this comes with the fact that there wasn't any stability in this relationship. And this person often give you a headache and stress you out, okay? I feel like there's a lot of depression here as well. Um, this could be you or your person, you know, Taurus, take it as it resonates, but someone is looking back into their past and saying, Hey, I wish I did, I did things differently. Okay. And it could be the, could be the fact that this person put you through a lot with the five of pentacles and they're like, wow, I really did, did a lot for this. I really did a lot to this person and I don't even know if I deserve a second chance and I understand why this person blocked me, okay? These are like thoughts coming into this person's mind, all right? And I feel like, you know, for some of you, your person is probably thinking of harming themselves or, you know, um, like they have a dark energy at this present time, all right? Because I do see someone coming in and trying to balance this whole thing back out. I feel like this person wants to invest in you, all right? Like before they wasn't ready to invest, before they didn't give you any kind of... You just didn't feel whole, like you knew something was missing in your relationship, but you were dealing with it because you were trying to make it work. But this person was acting like a child, all right? This person wasn't acting grown for you. All right, this person wasn't giving you what you needed and you tried to hold on to this relationship. I feel like that, you know, and this relationship wasn't, it was just falling apart. And I felt like you walked away in the four of swords here. You cut off communication and tell this person why you just left this person. You just start, start, stop calling this person, stop texting this person. And it was about, because of a lot of the lies and betrayal. This person embarrassed you. And it's funny how the five of swords is here and also the five of pentacles that talks about embarrassment, feeling used, feeling left, you know? I feel like for some of you, you fought for this person. You, you know, stood up for this person with your family, with your friends. And everybody was trying to warn you with this. Because this is what this talks about. This person left you in tears, okay? In tears. Oh, my God. Is there so much that is going on here? And you just feel very embarrassed. For some of you, just like going through life like nothing happens. And you don't want to talk about this person with your family and friends. You want everybody to think that, oh... Things are okay. You rather have them thinking that things are okay than making them know the truth that they were right and you were wrong, okay? And this is your love at this present time. The 1111 in reverse. There's a lot of conflict between you two. You two can't get along at this present time, you know? But I feel like this person has a lot of fears with this wand here being up in the reverse, especially the 1111. Like, they know they want to fix this. They want to try to fix this. But they have a lot of fear of what might come across okay all right hmm. wow Ooh. all right so we have the ten of cups here we have the high priestess in the upright and then we have the ten of pentacles in reverse so i feel like you know you're not cutting off this person completely taurus you're not you are you want to have this happy ending okay you're still open to it i feel like you're at a place in your life where you are your mind is where it needs to be like you know what you want like you're you know i feel like you are probably a secretive person but it's not because you don't trust your person it's because you're just trying to see what 
how this situation is going to flow and see if you could trust, if you could tell this person your secrets, your deepest, darkest secrets, okay? I feel like you know what your person is up to. I feel like you know the answers within because you're going towards what you want for yourself and you're believing in your intu intuition. You're looking into your intuition to make a decision for yourself. And I feel like you you picked happiness. You know, you picked, you know, the 10 of cups, you know, the abundance with someone. You want to build an empire. You want to have that happy ending with someone. And I feel like that's what you choose, okay? And I feel like the high priestess is you, Taurus. But for some reason, you're putting this relationship on hold at this present time, this 10 of pentacles, because you're like, this is not right right now. Maybe in the future, it will look different to you or you'll see things a little bit different or you remember, you're still going through the nine of swords, which is a lot of anxiety with this person, a lot of betrayal, a lot of embarrassment with this person. And I feel like you're still going through the healing process, okay? Because you don't want to go through the wheel of fortune um, in the upright. You're sick of this wheel of fortune you're sick of this cycle that constantly goes around with you and your person okay i feel like you know you're dealing with feeling abandoned like i told you like this person left you in the five of pentacles feeling like you know yikey they used you like they didn't appreciate you like they for some of you like i said they left you for someone else okay and you felt that all right this is what you're going through some kind of abandonment issues but you feel like this person is just not there for you like you gave everything to this person and this person just didn't appreciate what you have given okay then you have the ace of wands here hmm. how it's funny though you have the ace of wands a new beginning coming towards you like someone wants a new beginning even though this happened, I feel like you're just not putting the end to this relationship, but you're tying up the matters now in the Ten of Pentacles because you're just saying, you know, to this person, like, I just want to find out what I want for now. I need us to have a breather, okay? And that's why I feel like the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse because this person often made, often made you feel like this, like you're just not worth it, you know? Um, and you feel like you're alone in the relationship, but here you are with this ace of wands, which is, you know, talks about a new beginning and giving birth to something new. And I feel like, you know, give, be very careful, you guys, because if you guys are still sleeping together for some of you, which I'm getting, that, you know, pregnancy could be a matter of um in this situation okay if you're not ready to bring a child into this situation which you shouldn't because the situation needs fixing before you should bring anything into it okay but i do feel like this person feels like they want a new beginning with this cup here okay and it's funny how it's funny how that is coming up and it's coming up in the reverse because they feel like it might not last in the situation like, you know, you might not take it seriously. Like, this relationship might not might might not last, but they want to offer you a stable, committed relationship, okay? Something that you haven't had or made you, and didn't make you feel like this relationship was very stable in the Five of Pentacles and in the Five of Swords. They didn't make it feel like that. They made it feel like you were going nowhere, okay? Um, and this is what this person is giving you. They want a new beginning of this, but they're not sure if this is the right time to even approach you about this because you are so in your feelings about moving forward, moving on with your life at this present time. And I feel that like communication is shut down. Here we have the queen of swords in the in the reverse and then here comes the king of swords so i don't see you giving this oh my god the the what is it the page of swords in the reverse and then the queen of wands you're doing you honey huh. in reverse this is a you have no confidence in this relationship right now taurus none whatsoever whatever this person did you are just cutting them off completely right now you're cutting them off completely taurus you're in your feelings. If this person feels like you don't even want to be with them at this present time, like you don't even care with this page of wands here, this queen of wands, excuse me. And then we have the page of swords and the king of swords. This person is very coming off a little bit immature in the page of swords here. They have an immature energy that's coming through and you're cutting them off because these are all their communication. First, they're trying to be grown and try to understand where you're coming from, but then they have this tendency to act like you know what whatever i don't care kind of <laughs> do you boo <laughs> kind of attitude
attitude, okay? All right, so Taurus, we have the King of Wands in the back of the deck, the Two of Wands in the back of the deck, the King, the, the Knight of Swords in the back of the deck, and the Tower. Oh, my goodness. You moved on. This person kind of knows that there's no hope for this relationship because you're moving on. You know, this tower moment is happening. Um, communication is blocked here. This person wants to give you, of course, this two of pentacles, which is everything you, the two of wands, which is everything you ever wanted. All right. Everything you ever wanted, but you're like, you choose not to take it at this present time because it's in the reverse. And then you have, you know, the king of uh, wands here, which is telling me that you're just doing you, honey. You're doing you, and you're going to be more confident. You're going to be more stable. You're going to be just, you're already stable and confident in yourself because you're making decisions for you. You're the high priestess. You got this. Okay, you got this. No one can tell you different. But right now, you're not choosing to be with this person, and I feel like you're making a decision for you, not for this person. You're making a decision for you from your heart because you know that this person is a cycle, and this is your biggest fear giving this person a second chance and they're going to do the same thing back to you. I feel like in this reverse, you have learned your lesson and you're ready to move on, Taurus. All right, I'm going to leave this here, Taurus. I hope it resonates for you. If it did, you know what to do. Give this a big like here on YouTube, all right? And I'll see you guys in your next freedom. Bye, guys.